Right, happy lockdown everybody, it's Cash Knight again with another ranking video, getting into these. Right, um, so I'm throwing in a bit of a bonus with this next next collection, um, I'll tell you about it in a sec, it's Fast Pussycat, right, it's the, the studio album is Fast Pussycat, um, my worst to best, you know how it works, worst, best, so on and so forth, and all the way in between, but uh, this bonus one, I'm throwing in, it's the, the live album. All right, front row for the Donkey Show. I uh, came out in two thousand nine, and if this was a studio album, I'd call it the best. Um, it's just it's great. Um, you got the power and the glory hole, Cat House, uh, Slip of the Tongue, Number One with a Bullet, Sex Drugs and Rock and Roll, House of Pain, Where There's a Whip There's a Way, Porn Star, Bathroom Wall, which is the best on this album. It's the best version I've ever heard of Bathroom Wall. It's on this album. Um, Shut Up and Fuck, uh, that's better than the studio version because it's faster. Babylon, again, it's faster. And then the letdown of the album is a studio song, and it's a, a cover by it's a, a Stones cover, Rolling Stones cover. It's only rock and roll, and uh, that kind of lets the album down. Um, really shouldn't shouldn't have even tried it, not in that style anyway. But yeah. So uh, there's the, the bonus. This is a great album. Um, if you're, you know, if you're struggling with Fast Supposed to Cat, get this album. You don't need the others. This one. This one's great. Right. So onto the list. Ugh, right. I'm freezing today. Freezing for some reason. I don't know why. It's just really cold. Right. Um, so weirdly, this is classed as a studio album as well as a compilation. It's, Classes both. I don't know. Don't know. Um, Between the Valley of the Ultra Pussy, right? And it's it's a remix album, personally. It, it is. It's just a remix album. Um, all all done. All songs remixed by uh, Timey, Tamey, Timey. I think it is. Uh, sorry if I can't pronounce your name, but uh, yeah. So this one, it's it's weird electronic industrial remixes of the songs and this is i just don't like the sound of it uh arizona indian doll bathroom wall little dove poison ivy smash alley out with a bang body thief house of pain cat house where there's a whip oh the song is actually where there's a whip there's a way but on here i'm sure it is no yeah it is where there's a whip there's a way but on here it's just where there's a whip and a uh, slip of the tongue, and then a cover. A cover of not the greatest Kiss song, one of the most well known Kiss songs, I Was Made for Loving You, but it's probably one of the better songs on this album, to be honest. And uh, then there's an unreleased demo called Blood, which I don't think it's got any vocals, I'm not too sure. But I think that was alright, because it's got no vocals. Uh, I don't know, can't remember. But. Uh, yeah, there's my least favourite between the Valley of the Ultra Pussy. Right, going to be a lot of disagreements with this one. My next least favourite is their debut. Oh, uh, this one, sorry, let's just go back. Uh, the live album was released in 2009. This one, it was released in... It doesn't even say, but if memory serves me, it was about 2000. No, it doesn't say. Yeah, it does. 2001. It says it on the barcode inside. Right, really tiny, tiny, tiny writing down there. 2001. Right, so uh, this, 1987, their debut album, Fast Pussycat, self titled obviously. Right, this would rank a lot higher if I hadn't heard the live album. So before the live album was released, uh, this, this would have been a lot higher. Um, it's just the versions on the live album are so much better. They're, they're more powerful, they're louder, they're faster. And uh, it just stands out a lot better than the studio. So you got uh, Don't Change That Song, Bathroom Wall, No Room for Emotion, Cat House, Babylon, Smash Alley, Shooting You Down, City Has No Heart, Ship Rolls In, Bottle In Front Of Me. Um, on vinyl cassettes, if you want to look at it in them terms, Side one is the best. Side two, it just seems filler. Uh, that's what I think. Uh, 
Side 2 just really doesn't stand out. Side 2 to me would be Smash Alley, shooting you down. City has no heart, ship rolls in, bottom in front of me. Smash Alley, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll let that one slide. Let's whack that one on side 1. Um, but yeah, side 1 is good, pretty solid. Side 2, not so solid. That's why it's, it's down there, it's down. Unfortunately, yeah, it's not a bad day, dude. Next up is Wake Me When It's Over. Right, I, I was never a fan of this album art anyway. Look at that, the glare, the screen glare. It changed a lot. Let's hold it at an angle, can you see that? Right, um, is this the broken case? Let's check. Nope, it's not. Come on, I must have fixed it or replaced it. I'm sure that had a really bad broken case when I got it. Um, this one. <sighs> It holds something with me because I heard a lot of these songs the first time I heard any of Fast the Pussycat or songs off this album. Um, so, Where There's a Whip, There's a Way, Little Dove, Poison Ivy, House of Pain, um, Gonna Walk, Pulling Weeds, Slip of the Tongue, Crying Shame, Tattoo, Ain't No Way Around It, Arizona Indian Doll, and Please Dear. Um, again, it's a lot of filler uh, for me. For me, it was just too much filler. Ah, uh, that's what was wrong with this album. The teeth. I hate when the teeth break. Um, yeah, so this this album came... I can't remember when this came out. I can't see when this came out. Look. How are you supposed to read that? Oh, maybe I can read off the screen. No, nah, it's backwards. Let's have a look in the book. No, the writing's tiny. Damn you. Right, so... On the CD. Maybe it'll say on the CD. I have a feeling it was 1990 or 89. Have to check this thing. Have to. Maybe I should pause the video. Because I can look it up. It's bad that I can't see it. Really bad. No, I can't see it. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to pause the video. All right, so I just looked it up. It was 1989. That was close. I think I got it, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, 1989, the second album. Um, stronger than the first. Again, a lot of filler. All right, now we get into the last two. My top two. And uh, there's probably going to be dis disagreements, but... These are, these are ones I just keep going back to, these two, so it's kind of difficult, uh, depends on my mood. But with number two, I uh, went with uh, Power and the Glory Hole. Right, uh, this was a 2006 release, uh, kind of, wow, no, 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 I forgot about that one, whenever that one came out, 1992, from 92, which is number one, to 2006, how many years is that? 14, something like that, 14 years, right, yeah, nice little bit of album art, back, back cover album art, um, yeah, there was a whole different style, as you can tell, look at that, so, if you think about how they looked in 87, let's just go back, oh, yeah. there's, uh, there's your 87 Fast Pussycat, there's your, 2006, that's the Pussycat. There was different style, different effects. Um, there, there was effects on the vocals and whatnot. Um, but it's a strong, strong album. Um, apart from Pornstar. Not fan of Pornstar. Um, number one with a bullet. And then the next song is called Gotta Love It. Useless. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll disintegrate. These boots were made for walking. Nancy Sinatra cover, and uh, that's not a bad cover. Uh, hey, you porn star, power in the glory hole is brilliant. Uh, Shut up and fuck, good song. And then there's a, a dedication song called Bye Bye Bianca, and uh, I can't remember who Bianca was. I think it was someone from another band. Um, 
don't quote me on that, but there, there was, it was just a, a dedication. I had a lot of people just sort of saying bye and we miss you and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my number, whatever, second best, second best. I, I like that one. All right, and number one. Uh, I know people don't agree with this, but uh, whipped. Look at that, it's the import, it's like chunky, chunky. That's only because it comes with a poster. Oh, and something else. What's that? Oh, look at that. Oh, this is interesting. I think that's a sticker. It is a sticker. Huh, what is going on here? What is going on? A book. A ah, photo book, just a photo book. With all the bands, and I think it's got their signatures in it. Obviously pre-printed. But yeah. Um, but yeah, whipped. Ah, oh, oh, it was Japanese. That's why I like. That's why I get all the bonus stuff. Why do the Japanese get all the bonus tracks? I don't know. I don't know why. If I ever become famous, if I ever learn to sing or learn to play guitar properly, Japanese ain't having bonus tracks. If there's bonus tracks, they go around the world. Everyone gets them. Right. So this came out in '92. And, uh, you know, forget, forget I'm reading off my fair because they're, they're mixed up. Let's just read them off the back of the, the slipcase. Right, so track list Non Stop to Nowhere. That's, I like that song, I really do. Jack the Bastard, just good song. Madame Ruby's Love Boutique, uh, not so much a fan. Made in Wonderland, yeah. Cat Bash, Mr. Love Dog. Do you know what? These ain't even in order. I'm not reading them in order. It goes left, right, instead of up and down. Right, so the body thief. Um, big dictionary, very tongue in cheek, cheesy. Um, and then there's Madame Ruby. Uh, Only Way Out, Made in Wonderland, Friends, Loose Booty. That's very different, right? It's, uh, it's pretty different. You know what? I forgot. I know it's an EP anyway. Um, I just thought about uh, the uh, Belted Buckled and something EP which I've got uh, which has You're So Vain which was Carly whatever her name was Simon Carly Simon I don't know uh, yeah yeah Mr. Love Dog out with a bang and this one's got the bonus tracks with two type which is on that belted buckled and whatever the thing is uh, that's on there and charge me up now I think I think Charge Me Up was a Stones cover, because it sounds very Stonesy. Um, don't know, don't know. It sound, yeah, it does sound very. This book's chunky, because it's got the uh, the Japanese lyrics. They always do it. And then there's the poster, a big old poster. Apparently, throughout the world. Yeah, that's the full album cover, right? Apparently throughout the world, you could only get it um, where you just get like that or that. You know, not, not that bit, just that bit. Um, apparently, I don't know. Don't know on that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, bang, it doesn't even say it. doesn't say anything about Charge Me. Great. But this has got all the lyrics and stuff. Um, oh, it's on there, look, look, it's on the Japanese bit, charge me up. Does it say anything? No, nothing that I can read anyway. Great. Um, yeah, so I think charge me up was a uh, Stones cover. Don't quote me. I'm not great, I'm not, not great. But yeah, 1992, uh, their album Whipped, that makes it to my number one spot. Or today for well for Fast Pussycat. Um, good album through and through. Uh, you know what I'm debating now whether Power of the Glory Hole was better. But it depends on my mood. It really does depend on my mood. Sometimes I can binge a certain album or, or a certain band and then I won't go near them for a year or, or more. But that's just me. Maybe other people like me but I don't think so. Don't know. 
don't know, can't close the CD. All right, so that'll do for now. Happy quarantine, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I think uh, I've got, got my next pile ready, which is missing one, but we'll get on to that in the next video. All right, see you soon. If you uh, like it, please like the video. Uh, if you if you have any suggestions, uh, comment down below whether, whether you agree with my picks or not. Yeah, maybe you subscribe. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of people saying, oh, everyone should subscribe. I'm like, oh, I don't care. doesn't matter. If you subscribe, you get notifications, apparently, or something like that, when I do one. But they could be few and far between, or they could just be like, boom, 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 and then you don't hear from me for the rest of your life. Anyway, I'll see you soon.